if you want to know how to make an NPC interactive quest system for your game, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you my name is Newbie yes welcome back to the channel in this video um as I said if you're new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make an NPC interaction quest system with detection so if you already have the quest it's going to say like sorry dude you already got that quest man you cannot do that once more get the point yes Anyways, um, as I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe for epic Pogger gaming content. I make daily, not even daily videos. I try my best to upload as much as possible. Uh, so I'd uh, lovely consider if you would subscribe. Thank you very much. If you want to become a member, make sure to... For a member, you gotta press the blue join button. I, got, I just got awesome perks. Nonetheless, that. Anyways, let's continue. Um, so we're gonna be making an NPC interaction quest system. First of all, what do you need? I'm waiting for you to answer. Of course, an NPC! Hi. Yeah, what else would you need? Hmm. I would not know. Uh, there he is. Our lovely already pro. Oh my, oh. Okay. So what do we need now? We gotta anchor it. I'm just gonna make a folder with, I don't know, quest system because yes why not i'm gonna put already pro in now you want to get a um a part you want to put it around his arms transparency one anchored on can't collide false and put it into quest system now we're gonna do the quest activator activator like that you're gonna put in a proximity prompt and a script now duplicate the script and put it in server script service now, we're going to be taking a little script, not too long, IMO. Anyways, we're going to type in game, the players, the player added. Click on act, function, player. So, we're going to make a function if a player joins. Local ls, leader stats, is equals instance.new folder into our player. We're going to name this the leader stats. Else, it's not going to work, dude. Okay, what do we need now? Local level, because we're going to make a level in EXP. It's six to instance, uh, dot new. Boo, nope, number value. And we're going to put it into leader stats so we can track our level. Local, uh, no, not local. Level dot name is going to be level. And level dot value, six to zero. Now copy this, paste it again, and change everything to EXP. And this one's EXP, and that's it. Now we're gonna make a detection. Player dot leader stats dot exp dot changed colon connect function. So if your exp value changes, we're gonna check things. First of all, if player dot leader stats dot exp dot value is above or the same as a hundred. So if you have this, if you have like a hundred exp, we're gonna give you a new level. So to do that, we're gonna say player dot leader stats level that value plus equals one and we're gonna reset your exp back to zero so player that leader stats at exp that value is going to be zero now we're gonna check else if player that leader stats that level that value is the same or above as 10 then we're gonna reset your level if you bypass it we're gonna reset your level back to 10 by saying leader stats player the leader stats the level that value is equal to 10 so it's 10. And we're just gonna, as normal, reset your exp back to 0 by saying player latest that, that exp that value is equal to 0. That's our first detection done. Now we're gonna do player that leader stats dot level dot changed comma connect function. And we're basically checking the same, so you can just copy this and uh, like this, you can just do this. Uh, ju just don't mix up your ends like Roblox does right now. And change else to nothing. So if your level is the same above as 10, we're just going to reset it back. So now, um, let's see. 
that's gonna work. So this is your first script done. 41 lines. Great job, dude. Really great job. So that's your first script. Now we're gonna continue on. Gonna add in a remote event. Just gonna name it the quest giver. We're gonna do a script dot parent dot proximity prompt dot triggered colon connect function player game dot replicate storage the quest giver call fire server correction fire client I am very sorry player like this so that's all you need what I'm gonna do for the proximity prompt I'm gonna do you gotta hold it for two seconds uh, object text quest and then uh, just get quest no clue how about just interact like that now we're gonna go to start your GUI I'm gonna add in a screen GUI the quest GUI I'm gonna add in a text label I'm gonna make it 1 comma 0 by 0 comma 100 so it's above your screen backwards referency 1 and we're gonna make this a script scripted value actually you can just yeah, we can do that. Scripted value. Text skilled. I always do Gotham Black because I really like that. Gonna add in a local script. Now I'm gonna type something confusing. Game. Replicate storage. Dot quest giver. Dot on client event. Client connect. Function. Player. Actually, we're not even gonna do player. At the top of this, you're gonna type local player. Is it because game. Dot players. Dot local player. Got it? Okay. If uh, now we need a new value, local has quest is equals to instance dot new bool value into your player. I'm gonna do that into your player, not leader stats, because it's gonna mix up your entire leader stats and it's gonna break. Has quest dot name is equals to has quest and has quest dot value is equal to false. If you join a game, you do not have it. If player that has quest that value is equal to, equal to false. So if you don't have uh, the quest, then we're just gonna do we're, we're gonna initialize it later. Else if player that has quest that value is equals to, equals to true, then script dot parent dot text label dot text is equal to you cannot have two quests at the same time. Now over here we're gonna do game dot replicate storage dot enable quest. We're gonna make a new uh, remote event. The enable quest one. Call on fire server player. We're gonna fire it from the player. Now in your leader stat script, you over here at the bottom you can do game dot replicate storage um dot enable quest dot on server event call and connect function plr. PLR that has quest that value is equal to true. We're just gonna set it to true, and we're gonna make one more, and that's just gonna be the finished quest. But that we're gonna uh, script that later on. So let's test this out. Uh, I'm gonna set the text to nothing, and um, over here we can just do print enabled. So I'm gonna show you. This is just. Testing purposes. Testing purposes. Yes. Anyways, now that we're loaded in. Okay, there we go. Where is our proximity prompt? Ah, uh, because it's in the player. Oops. I don't think it can be in the player, right? Let me see. I should be good. Ah, there we go. So now, if we interact, after two seconds, it's gonna print enabled. You know, if you look in player, has quest is true. And now, if we want to, it, again, it's gonna say you cannot have two quests at the same time, which is pretty logical, in my opinion. Let's just remove that. Now I'm gonna get the hard part, and that is coding the entire thing. Now we're gonna do script dot parent dot text label dot text is equals to. You want uh, just do something random. You want to help me? All I'd reach space 
jump. We're just gonna give him a, uh, a hint by jumping. Um, what I am gonna do is uh, coded already game replicate storage that finished quest on server event colon connect function plr. And we're just gonna do plr dot has quest dot value is equal to false and plr dot leader stats exp dot value plus equals fifty. It's gonna give you 50 experience because yes back to coding oh yeah so uh, you got to do this all right now we're gonna go into search or gui we're gonna add in a local script this is going to be the user input service local uis is equal to game colon get service user input ser uh, no oh, come on get service user input service uis dot input begun sometimes okay input begun collect connect function key if key dot key code is equals equals to enum dot key code dot space yes we can do space that's probably a space bar then but anyways for here we're gonna do local player as equals the game the player is local player so if it is spacebar, if player dot leader stats dot let's see if player dot leader stats dot uh, no not leader stats if player that has quest that value sixty is true then game dot replicate a storage um dot finish quest call a fire server player else if player that has quest that value is equal to, six to false then so if it is false then we're just gonna do nothing well you could do print player is not uh well player doesn't have quest enabled that that's what you could do um what we're gonna do is over here uh let's see can we give okay we need another remote event with um let's see let's just do give jump power and we're gonna do game the replicator storage at gift jump power call it fire server player over here we're gonna do game that replicator storage that give jump power call on connect correction on server event call on connect function plr you know the drill let's see plr that character dot humanoid dot jump power is equals to let's see you normally have 50 so let's do 500 and over here, once you finished it, we're just gonna do PLR that character that humanoid that jump power is equals to fifty. We're just gonna reset it back. Else everything goes horribly wrong. You 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 don't want things to go wrong. No. No. Let's see. Over here we can do now is player dot player GUI dot quest GUI dot text label the text is equal to you did it and then after two seconds we're just gonna reset that back by saying player dot player gui dot quest gui dot text label the text is equal to nothing let's see if this works now we made a quest you can equip the quest and if you jump you're gonna get it so let's see Alrighty, we're just gonna try and get the quest. You want to help me? I'd reach space. You gotta jump. Okay, you did it. And yeah, we got 50 XP. Something went wrong though. We did not get the jump power. See? If we press space, it's gonna say we do not have the quest. And then over here, want to help me? Reach space, jump. You did it! And then we get our experience. As you can see, we're level one. Ah, uh, that went wrong. Why did that go wrong? Or do you start at level? Yeah, you start at level zero. You gotta start at level one, of course. I'm stupid. You get the point. So let's try and fix that jump power issue. Hmm. Let's see if it changes. I'm gonna do that privately. 
I believe I found the issue. Um, if you would play our game, then uh, you'd see the game does not use your jump power automatically. Just, just, just why game? Just why? If you go to your humanoid, you search up jump. Yeah, see, you, you gotta use your jump power. Now, if you would test it out. Uh, I saw I added in a weight 1 over here. Make sure to add that weight 2 seconds over here. If we would jump, woo! And after 2 seconds, it's gonna say, you did it! Because we did it. Now we're gonna get some EXP. Let's try to get that quest again. Woohoo! And then you did it, and we're at level 2. Why did we get another EXP? Hmm. Hum. Anyways. Maybe we're making it too complex, so we're just gonna remove that two, two seconds wait. We're gonna go to this. Let's see. For what we need is it to use your jump power. So PLR dot character dot humanoid dot use jump power is six to true. Um it should have always done that. I think. Yeah, we're all. Yeah, we're just all, always gonna do that. Alrighty. Let's see. Okay, you jump power. Does it enable? It does. Now, if we reach space, and boom, you did it. We reach space. Our jump power is back to normal. We land. We got some EXP. So, let's try it again. You want to help me? All right. Reach space. Boom. And we're level two. As you can see, we do not have the quest. I don't know if you would do it again. Then, woo. You can do it over and over again. Pretty cool for your game. Uh, it's quite a, a quick tutorial. It's on one quest only. If you want another one, you can just copy every single thing, change the variables, and just do whatever you want. So, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out and goodbye.